And so, so I started off as a chef and I realized just how closely tied our food systems were with agriculture and yet our farmers were some of the more vulnerable groups who weren't being addressed and who were not getting credit for the ingredients of produce that they had. So slowly it was only natural to get into um, agriculture and growing my own ingredients and understanding just how closely linked this alchemy was between our air, soil and water, between our agriculture and food that gets to our plates. So the Cacao Project is an initiative that provides farmers with the skills training, resources and materials that they need to establish regenerative agroforests. We have a farmer field school that teaches them about finance and entrepreneurship and really empowers them to be part of the movement to protect and restore our landscapes. With our issues in climate change and food scarcity, I think it's important that young people become more heavily involved, um, involved in protecting our landscapes and getting into green jobs like agriculture and ensuring food security. People usually challenge me and say, oh, you're too young to be a farmer. Why would a young girl be in agriculture? And I think it's, um, I think it's something that is a stigma that needs to be disassembled as we move forward. Living in the front lines of these communities impacted by the climate crisis um, that drove me into activism and realizing that you cannot not be an activist if you're impacted by this and you want to spread awareness of the issue and make sure that you can actually drive change to protect your community. Governments need to build equity for people who are mostly heavily and disproportionately affected by climate change, whether it's farmers and women in rural communities and young people. I think that they need to help build equity for these and um, kind of stream more funding and protection for these communities.